Now, thousands of Hollywood film and television writers have gone on strike after talks between major studios and the powerful Writers Guild failed to reach an agreement. Writers say their income has been reduced by online streaming services. The strike could shut down television talk shows and delay the release of series and movies due for autumn. It's the first major writer's strike in 15 years. The last one is estimated to have cost the California economy more than $2 billion. Well, for more, let's cross over to DW Scott Roxborough. Scott, tell us more about why the Writers Guild in America is striking. What are their primary demands? Well, the primary demands uh, essentially have to do with changes in technology and how it's impacted uh, their business. Uh, essentially, it's streaming and, to a lesser extent, artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, streaming, of course, has been incredibly dominant with Netflix, Amazon, and, and, and other companies um, uh, investing a lot in particularly television, but also film production. Um, and uh, the um, issue with streaming, um, often these companies pay quite a bit for uh, writers on their shows, uh, but the work is not as regular um, as it is in the traditional television world. Uh, the shows uh, get uh, canceled quite quickly. Uh, they're often, the production is often quite shortened. Uh, so writers uh, don't have a steady work as they used to have in traditional television. Um, and then the other side of it is compensation for streaming um, productions. Because in the traditional TV world, you would get, um, if you're a writer, if your show is a hit, um, you could measure how many people were watching it and you would get paid according uh, to the success of a show. Um, with streaming, Measuring a hit is much more difficult. Streamers don't release their figures as to how many people actually watch a show. Um, and so the writers aren't uh, compensated in the same way. Um, that's one issue. Uh, the other issue, as I mentioned, is uh, artificial intelligence. Um, writers in Hollywood are very worried that studios will start to cut costs using artificial intelligence to replace them or replace aspects of what they do. Um, they see this as an existential threat uh, and worry that there need to be um, things put into their contract to force the studios uh, not to use uh, AI to replace uh, to replace writers. So those are two of the main issues, which I say are both like, technologically driven um, and are behind a lot of the uh, the action taking place right now and and the strike. So the strike is underway. It's happening now. What impact is it likely to have, Scott, on the entertainment industry? I think it's going to depend on how long it lasts. The last time we had a major writer strike was 2007, 2008. It lasted about 100 days um, and had a fairly significant impact. It, it had a real major impact on the television industry. We saw a shift away from drama towards more reality TV, uh, non-scripted uh, television. Um, and it also delayed or even canceled a lot of uh, big um, movie productions because they couldn't go forward because the writers uh, weren't working. Um, if this strike is very short, a couple of weeks maybe, um, I think the impact will be very limited. Um, but if it does go on a couple of months, as the last major strike did, I think we will see major shifts. And it'll be interesting to see how the studios and these big production companies will adapt to not having writers to create new material for them. And of course, it's interesting to, to think about how this is going to be resolved. W what about negotiations, Scott, between the Writers Guild and the studios? Any chance of them striking a deal soon? Soon, I can't see it. They're still very far apart. Um, uh, when it terms, just in terms of money, the plan put forward by the Writers Guild um, would see an increase um, in in revenue for writers of about four hundred twenty nine million dollars over three years. On the studio side, the offer uh, would bring around eighty six million uh, uh, over three years. So there's a huge gap there. Um, and also the sort of fundamental issues that I was talking about, the issues of how streamers compensate uh, uh, writers for their work and the impact of artificial intelligence on uh, uh, on writing and, and how it will be integrated into the entertainment system. Uh, on those issues, the writers and the producers, the, the uh, studios, are incredibly far apart. And at the moment, I don't see um, how they're going to come together. But there is a demand on both sides to find a solution. Uh, so hopefully, uh, this will be a limited strike and will not uh, go on for months and months and impact, basically, the entertainment uh, uh, industry worldwide. Scott, thank you very much. Uh, Scott Roxborough from DW Culture.